What's up, Go Enthusiasts? Today I'm here to show you how to make a 101 Weichi account and how to use the site correctly to get the best that you can out of your Sumego. So here I've just gone to 101weichi.com and you can see there's a Google Translate option to translate to, uh, from Chinese Simplified to English. We're not going to use that. It's not very efficient. Instead, we're going to immediately not go on 101weichi and Google 101weichi localizer plugin. <laughs> there is a plugin. This is a Google Chrome plugin. You can also use it elsewhere. This is an extremely useful plugin for navigating 101weichi. So you can add this. I'm currently using the, the Chrome browser. And so I've added it to Chrome, hurrah. Okay, and you can see I have a whole fresh email account, Telegraph Sumego. I don't, I've never used this email before. I just made it for this. And um, so now here I am, I went on Wichi, and if I refresh, then you can see all sorts of things have been translated, and not all of them, but some of them have at least. And you have sign in, sign up, WeChat login. So we're gonna sign up for 101 Wichi, register. We have our username, email, password. All right, great. My uh, username will be Telesumego. <laughs> My email will be telegraphgo at, uh, sorry, at telegraphsumego at gmail.com. My password will be um, Sumego. <laughs> Not a very good password. And my level, of course, is, I don't know, something like this. Uh-oh, uh I have to solve the Chinese CAPTCHA. I need to translate this, <laughs> I guess. Oh, no, I just need to put it in. Aha, I put the, the photo, I, I put the photo together. Hurrah, I am a human. Okay, I can save my password of Sumego. Yes, I will save it. Use my Google account. Uh, no, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> so you view my passcode, okay, great. So uh, sign up, success, Telegraph Sumego. So now I got an email and I need to sign up. If you use a temp mail, 101 Weichi may stop you. You should use a Gmail. I do not know if it even works with other emails like Yahoo. Um, I've had reports that it doesn't, that it will only accept Gmail. Uh, I don't know exactly how true that is, but at least I'm sure that if you sign in with Gmail, it works. So now here I am, Tele Sumego. Now what do I click? There's so many buttons to click. There's daily problems here, there's game records, there's all these buttons. To be honest, you don't interact with most of them. <laughs> most of these are, are not gonna be useful to you if you don't speak Chinese or even if you do speak Chinese. The most important ones are the first two. And you can do the daily problems if you like, if you see one that catches your eye or anything. Um, but the first one here is called Guan because that's what's in the URL here. And um, Guan is a particular kind of Sumego. So these fetch from the, the whole library of 101 Weichi or maybe just like the the verified part of it, and they give you 45 seconds to solve the problem. They tell you who is to play, so that's always translated if you have the 101 Weichi localizer, which is very use, useful. And uh, in general, they tell you what kind of problem it is, although, um, yeah, <laughs> who's to say how, how often that's correct. In this case, it's black to play and capture, so we should capture stones, and well, three stones here are in Atari, so I can go ahead and capture. So I passed with 19 seconds remaining, um, the serial number here, Q76960, is how you find problems that you um, could not find before. So if I wanted to find this problem again, and I would go to another 101 Weichi thing, I'd type in 101weichi.com slash Q slash 76960, I believe. Oh. Maybe not. <laughs> is it lowercase q or is it, um, ah, it's lowercase q, lowercase q. And then I would be able to find this Sumego again. So um, if you do some of these Sumego uh, processes, you will not be able to share Sumego with other people. Like if you set up your own homework, it will be in the context of your own homework, the URL, you will only be able to share it with this serial number. Okay, so we captured it. We can go to the next problem. This one is also a capturing problem. Our sons are in Atari, their sons are in Atari. You play this move, hurrah. So the point is, you do 10 of these problems per set in Guan. And then at the end of the set, then if you got eight out of 10 right or more, you pass. 
and passing means that you get to do, do the next rank up. So here I'm going to pass 15Q, hopefully, and uh, at the end of that, once I pass 15Q, then I will be able to promote, and you can see break the next level, this button will allow me to then try the 14Q Guan. If I wanted to try 15Q Guan again, I could do this one. Okay, so um, that is Guan. So you can go all the way up, you can do 14Q, you can go all the way up. You don't need to practice the level, which you haven't passed yet. You can practice easier levels if you like, but lots of people like this because the, the time limit makes them feel like a similar pressure to be Yomi, basically. And uh, uh, they, it selects in general from high quality problems. These are, they're not gonna get totally troll terrible, terrible problems when you do uh, Guan. At least usually you want to. There's like a couple in there, but <laughs> there's like only a handful, really. All right, so then uh, what if you don't want a time limit? What if you're like, man, I want to do some Mego, but I don't want 45 seconds, the time pressure is too much for me, then you do problem instead of the strength test, you do problem. Uh, you can see I actually tried three problems already today and failed them, trying to explain this before, and also messing with the problem setup. So this problem setup thing is really, really important. It, you can uh, automatically get two chances when you do this homework, when you do the task due when you have an infinite time. I think that is stupid. I think you should only get one chance because it makes you more honest about what you saw, what you didn't see, and you can like forgive yourself less about, oh, I saw it the second try. You don't get a second try in the game, right? Uh, you also have options if you pay 101 Weichi to become a member. So this is, is an option to buy membership from 101 Weichi, and then you can get uh, custom thinking time for these uh, homework settings. You can get a particular like um, set of problems, which is reviewed for quality, apparently. I think these problems are still pretty high quality in general. And you can click off end game problems or all sorts of other problems. These opening and middle game problems are usually not so good, but in general, you have to face the most of these problems all the time. You also can control what you want for the, the ranks, but um, yeah, let's just do go back and do the, um, the, the problem here. So it's black to play. Apparently it's an end game problem. We're black to play and try to handle um, some weakness inside this white shape. So obviously white has to live, <laughs> there's a life and death problem. And Wei also has some cuts here. So let's see. I would think of uh, throw in is my first first intuition. If I throw in and then they uh, capture like this, I could just play here and allow them to answer. So in total, they have five points there from um, capturing and, and elsewise. So that can be a point better than just playing from the from the outside, allowing them to connect and then that's a, a six point shape for them. So it looks like just reducing them to five points in Sente is gotta be the best that I can do here. All right. So we solved the problem, <laughs> hooray. Um, you can spend you know all your time trying to read and, and judge and all that sort of stuff if you like as well. Uh, you can also go through them faster if you want, if you just wanna check the, the answers. Uh, in general, I recommend that you solve most of your life and deaths sort of randomly, <laughs> which maybe a sign kind of a weird recommendation, but your job is to build your Go dictionary when you do Sumego, right? This is all about um, having a whole bunch of more shapes that you can recognize, especially in the intense situations, which are very hard to like judge in the game. So doing all your Sumego from Guan and from Task Do, which are basically random um, elements. That's going to help you with your life and death about as effectively as I think that you can. However, uh, that's not the best way to train Tesuji. The, the feeling that you get for um, splitting shapes, for, for finding uh, great moves, high quality technical moves in a game, is something that you can train much more um, practically, as there's only a few kinds of techniques that I think you should learn. So I'm going to go through each of the books that I recommend that you access here on one on Weichi to learn Tsuji, starting from beginner rank. So if you are uh, new to Go or new to Sumego, I recommend that you use this book, book 5120, 5120. Um, you can see there's a lot of books. There's only a few that are really, really good. If you're new to Go, I think this one is, is really, really great. Um, it starts very easy, slowly, slowly builds up some, um, some intuition and, you know, some um, some general knowledge of what's going on. And I, I think that this is the, the number one 
book on the site for absolute beginners. And double digit cues can use it as well, but uh, my primary suggestion for double digit cues is, is this book for Tesuji. So if you're looking for Tesuji, that's not really life and death problems, it's problems about, well, just what do you do in this kind of situation? And the answer here should be to Atari both of these times. And you can go ahead and, and think about that, and then you can go to the next problem and think about it and go to the next problem. And the point of these problems is to organize together lots of, of similar shapes and try to make them make sense for you so that you can get a good understanding of why some of these shapes are going to be good, why some of these shapes are going to be bad for the opponent, right? And uh, so this I really do recommend for uh, the double digit cube players. Single digit cube players, of course, can, can look at it too. If you're a beginner, you can look at this one too if you like. Uh, oops, I accidentally used Li Cheng Host to Suji in my link. Li Cheng Host to Suji is the name of the book that I recommend for single digit cube players. So this one, um, this is where the chapters start really mattering. So I recommend when you solve all these books that you solve them by chapter. So instead of clicking on the green button here, that will just give you problems randomly from throughout the book. You want to do the book in order of which it is pre presented. So that means you click on the chapter and then you go and click on the problem and you see black to play capturing race and you solve the problem. Hooray, hooray. Cool. Uh, you learn what you can. Maybe you fail the problem, you learn what you can. You click next problem, it gives you the next problem in the book. And they're going to be generally related, and particularly the chapters are going to be related within each other. This book has a wide range of difficulty. These first two chapters are accessible to beginners and double digit cues. They still teach something to single digit cues who are actually trying to think and learn. The next chapters, three and four, are definitely for single digit cues, and even potentially Don players sometimes. Five and six are. Uh, sort of single digit cues and Don players can can learn and and when it gets to the end of six it is even challenging for uh, for me sometimes so uh, yeah this is a really really good book I really recommend this to basically everyone that you should uh, you should know Li Cheng Host Suji as well as you can another uh, book that I, I highly recommend in the same vein is Gokyo Shumyo. This is a very famous old collection that is really, really uh, well-renowned, well-known. And this book I recommend for single digit cues who are really trying to become Don players and all Don players. I think it's really, um, it's really good. In particular, chapter seven, the first 20 problems of chapter seven um, as a collection are, in my opinion, the best 20 problems collection in Go. I love these 20 problems all put together. It taught me so much about timing. So if you want to learn about timing, I really recommend these, these 20 problems all together. Um, and yeah, even that five Don plus one is just as basic as the two Q if you understand what the, what the, the 20 problems are about. After, after the first 20 it becomes a little more um, complicated and obscure. This is the only book for which there is an English translation that I know of which is um, done by Antti Tormanen, the um, Nordic pro, well, Japanese pro from uh, Finland. Uh, this is a really, really good book. So you can buy the English edition of Gokyo Shumyo here. I'll have that linked. And he even um, made a nice proper Japanese binding special edition, if you would like. English, so some English... Um, Comments, very, very useful. I have really, really good reviews of this book from my students. I think that this is a really high, high quality um, Sumego source. So if you are single digit Q or Don player looking for a book to hold in your hands in English <laughs> for Sumego, this is this is your best shot by far. And uh, also, if you if you don't care about holding the book in your hands, you can solve the the Sumego here. Okay, so that concludes basically everything that I would recommend to single digit Q players. Um, those are all the Tetsuji resources that I think you, that you need. If you are not done yet, after you go through all of them, go through them again and uh, and do the do the um, life and death problems from Guan and your your random uh, assortments. If you are a Don player, there is more. There's this Tetsuji dictionary from Gosegen and Kansaku, 
who which I think is is really good for Dawn players to get a good sense of when these Tsuji are all applicable. This one is 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 quite difficult. It's the next step up from Li Ching Ho's Tsuji for sure. And if you have uh, the problem, so lots of Don players, by the time you're a Don player, you have a good dictionary of shapes, but a lot of people as low Dons and even as high Dons have particular types of life and death shapes to which they just get confused every time. It's like, oh man, I just never see it. I just never see it when I'm supposed to do the diagonal to Suji, right? Or, oh, I, I, I know how to read everything, but the under the stones to Suji, never find it, right? Um, or some people, it's the Carpenter's Square, right? The Carpenter's Square, every time the Carpenter's Square happens in my game, I just play away and hope that it works, right? <laughs> like, um, if those problems are happening to you, if that sounds familiar to you, this is an encyclopedia. So basically any particular type of, um, of Tetsuji in, in Life and Death that you struggle to find as a Dawn player, these are explorations of each Tetsuji's uh, potential use that, um, when combined together, I think they really help uh, supplement your understanding of how the Tsujis are supposed to be used as it relates to life and death. And finally, if you're around my level, the Tianlong Two. <laughs> this is, uh, yeah, the Heavenly Dragons. This is the the really um, proper uh, Insei level um, Sumego book that I think is the the most famous, the most useful to to check out when you are trying to become pro. Okay, so that's my recommendations for Go books that you can use on 101 Weichi. There's other Go books. You can just search 101weichi.com slash book, and you will see here getting started all sorts of books at whatever level that you like. If these books do not satisfy you, you can go ahead and search through all of these. There's all sorts of good ones. Okay. <clears throat> Finally, last thing. You have a task book that you can follow, and you have a mistakes book. You can see the three problems with which I failed when I was trying to set up the the uh, the um, task properly for you. So you can go through your mistakes book, and whenever you like, you can go and solve them. You can be like, oh, in this one, Black was supposed to play this push, and then this Hane to set up a brilliant short liberty technique to play at five. Hooray! And... In this one, White was supposed to play and save these stones with a dual threat. Uh, in this case, L19 doesn't threaten to save to the left side, only K19 does. So, you have to play K19 with the idea that you can play the Hane and double Hane underneath. Great, great, great. And you can go back through all of your previous um, problems that you failed and take a look at them just like this. So in this one, you can use the Ko potential to be able to reduce that space effectively. All right, great. So you can see, I can now clear mistaken problems. Uh, I can redo mistakes, whatever, all sorts of things. This is 101weichi.com slash error if you're having trouble finding it. The way that I found it, you can click this button and then you can find your um, user grade and you can also find home at, uh, from find it from home. You can see how many problems you've done. You can see how many on average you've gotten right. You can see the average time spent. I spent a long time trying to set the thing, it's just the, the, the problem set up correctly and thinking about those, those problems that I failed. Um, okay. There are other things that you can do. Finally, on 101Wichi, the other assorted things. This brings you to 101Wichi battles. Uh, some streamers enjoy to do battles here. You can click this button it allows you to set up a room where you can battle other people and try to solve Sumego against them. Um, this is not very popular, but it is a very fun, very fun mode of Sumego, so I recommend that you do it when you have friends nearby. These other ones you can explore if you like. This one allows you to play bots and stuff. Over here, you have all sorts of game records that are actually quite good. So we have uh, commentaries that are sort of like Lightly translated by 101Wichi Localizer. Um, this is Go Sagan's games, games from Hikaru no Go. You can find games from all sorts of very famous players, Shinjin So if you like, AlphaGo, um, etc, etc, etc. I highly, highly recommend 101Wichi, but this video would be remiss to not mention my second favorite site, which is Go Problems 
GoProblems.com. GoProblems.com has a recent revamp, which you can sign in and sign up. And this is uh, run and and um, held by the English, by the Western uh, Go community. It has many, many, it has like uh, over 20,000 problems and they're uh, picked well for quality. So they're rated well for quality. So you can play this puzzle rush in order to just see high quality problems and try to solve as many as you can in three minutes. I'll do a puzzle rush here. Um, <laughs> just, just for fun. Yeah, so the, uh, the main attraction of goproblems.com as opposed to um, 101 Weichi is that the creator of it, the, the people who are running it, speak English and are talking to us as a community. There's a goproblems.com Discord as well, unlike the, um, the 101 Weichi who <laughs> speak Chinese, of course. And so they are constantly updating Puzzle Rush and the other features on goproblems.com at the moment, which is really, really nice to see. It's becoming a really properly high quality site. And so uh, I recommend that you give Puzzle Rush a shot, see if you can show up on the leaderboards in a relatively high position. <laughs> Do the best you can at least. And, um, Ah, so here I have to play here and this one first in order. So the Puzzle Rush, as you can see, is the problems are getting harder as we go on. We just had a 10Q problem. This one is black to live. It seems like I have to save in the corner with the double Hane by extending here. And here looks like I'm going to have to do this one and then a Hane and connect. No, that's not, that's not it. Ah, instead I need to play this descend first. Is that right? Yes. And then this Hane to reduce from that side. It was, I knew it was a short liberty thing, but I, my instinct led me awry. Okay, so here, uh, make sure not to make the wrong Atari in that situation. The other Atari was not going to work as there was an under the stones technique there. Um, just Atari here looks very natural. Uh, is there any counterplay? Don't really see it. So this one is going to work. Okay, so here, um, nice to have this timing and then the block on this side. Very good. Here I can play this Atari, or this this Hane, and then I can save with a fantastic um, sequence here. Very nice. This one, I believe, let's see, I believe I should... Um, Hane first. Somehow I need to combine with this area. Ah, yes. Hane first. And then I can play here. Is that right? Yes. That is right. And then I can play here and here. Very nice. How to kill. <laughs> it looks like uh, A14 is going to be useful pretty soon here. But I don't know if it's useful right away. No, I think I need to exchange this first and now play A14. Very good. And this one, I happen to know this by heart. Yeah, I play like this and here and here and good. Great. Okay, I got 23 on my first try here. Um, yeah, I didn't solve, I didn't fail any of them, but I did take a long time towards the end here to actually properly read things out. Try not to embarrass myself. <laughs> Okay, Go Problems is great. You can do these puzzle rush. It's really fun to, to try to do your absolute best. But also you can just go to problems. There's so many of them. I actually have two uh, problems on goproblems.com. You can see if you can find them. I believe they're in pretty high repute. Um, thank you for watching. Enjoy 101 Enjoy goproblems.com. Solve Sumego to your leisure. Have fun. Bye-bye.